Good day, fan people. How are you? I'm doing well, and today we are just going to have a little bit of fun with Mike Zhang's units that I've been lended. And let's see where it all goes. We're going to be testing out their units with no particular goal in mind, but I remember. I can't remember when, but it was suggested that I do more of these types of videos, just this type of stuff, just in the sandbox. I was looking for suggestions, and this looks like the perfect thing. As you can see, there are a bunch of units. There's 65 units in total. Let's try them out. First, I'd like to try the Tank MZ, Mike Zhang's tank, versus the normal tank. What's the difference? Well, the initial difference, the only thing I can tell is that the normal one has people on it, the other one doesn't. So let's see how this goes. That hit. Okay, so they're definitely more durable. That's three direct hits and they haven't died. Okay. Uh, that might have just been a fluke. Hold on, let's test it out again. Make sure it isn't a fluke. Okay, yep, just roll. Yeah, I definitely see like the red tank is a little more durable. Now, let's test out some other units. Some of the units I would like to test out is the Ares Legionnaires. Five of them. Versus five of my skeletal infantry. I think my guys are about to get destroyed. But, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The thing I like about these spears here is that they're really heavy. That way they're always like at the feet, which means they can go under the shields if angled correctly. And the shields aren't bad. Okay, that uh that was quick. Okay, well uh we'll have double. That's how I'll make the difference. We'll also place another one of them there so they actually holding it properly. Now we'll see if this works. Double the spears, I put double layers. Go on. You got this. Yep, you got this. These guys are enraging, okay, yep. The Ares Legionnaires, uh, they destroyed our guys. Okay, uh, what about five of the skeletal champions? These are supposed to be like the mini bosses. They can also do that, I forgot they could do that. So it would see my champions are better. Definitely wasn't raked. Probably just tried the footmen. We'll have ten of them. Versus what is there to you? You know we'll have a uh, ten of me. Oh hold on, I have to switch that around. I'm sorry. If I'm going to, if I'm gonna have my own units, they need to be in red. Just to cut to color the channel. You you understand pick anything other than that you're just doing it wrong so who's gonna win 10 of me or 10 of the footmen my money is on the footmen because they actually have shields as predicted I destroyed them because my guys can jump back and parry attacks my guys are built different but the centurions we'll have five of them since they look like they're beasts Maybe I should have had 10, because my guy's still decimated. Well, no, it's rough, though. What are the dreaded Vikings? They're fast! That is not saving them, evidently. Still come out on top. What about the dreaded Raiders? Okay, they're not so fast. Makes sense, I mean, they're carrying around a shield and all that. Ooh, I made mistakes coming here. Oh yeah, that was a horrible error. Okay, well, uh, what about the dreaded Berserker? We'll have two of them. See how this goes. Oh, that was a horrible mistake. Why was I standing in the middle? I want no part of that. Ow. Still one. I'll take it. 
What about the brawlers? What did they do? We'll put three. We're gonna get ahead of the crowd. Oh, I think I just got friendly fired. Yeah, those mace guys are Oh, okay. I was about to say. Now I've just... Those morning stars, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Morning stars, the type of mace. Yeah, they're pretty tough. No, these guys. I like their designs. These are just black and gold, and that's one of my favorite color combinations. Oh, oh, I can see this is going our way. Yep. They never stood a chance. I'm trying to go with all like the base melee units to test against my melee units. Just should me versus Mike Sang's units. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, but yeah, my guys seem to generally come out on top as the base melee unit. We'll have the. What about these guys, the pikemen? Yep, yep, you, you got by arch. A lot of good those pikes did you. Never stood a chance. What about the medieval footmen? We'll have ten of them. They cost a little much, which is concerning. But you know, it's probably just nothing. I just hit our own teammate. Oh my god, I'm at teammate server. I'll take it. The zombies. The side of the Try the zombies. I'll take them all in myself. That was a horrible mistake. Never mind, we're the best. Oh, we got the jetpack. Oh, this is the best video ever. Okay, one last thing. The souls of hell. And I think that's what we'll call the day for these melee units of me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need help. Call 9-1. Oh, wait. We actually... We're winning. Yeah, yeah, this is a victory on our end. You know, if they actually attack this one guy left. There's two of you, don't die! Okay, thank you. That would have been embarrassing for me if I just said we got this and then we lose. Oh, but where's their archers? I want to try out some of their archers. Not Apollo, though. So about 10 ancient archers versus 10 skeletal marksmen. Made by me. So you know these guys are going to be way better. First volley of arrows. Meeting in the middle. Going perfectly past each other's. Our guys survive all of the arrows. Okay, we had a singular casualty. That's acceptable. Our guys are tankier. They can take an arrow. Can't take two, but... Damn, we got hit right in the finger. That's got to be excruciating. But we're winning this one. We got fast fire right here, don't we? Okay, they have a slightly faster fire rate than us. Doesn't make much of a difference, you know. We still have the numbers and the health advantage. And there we go. We win. Now, how about we try out some of these bosses? Apollo. God of light, sun, whatever, and music, and poetry, and basically anything else there wasn't that nobody else wanted. Hmm. Trump against the Holy Wizard, you know, I think that's a fair fight. This guy shoots the light beams, the two arrows. It seems like a pretty fair fight, you know. This ought to be fair, right? Okay, so that was a pretty close fight. You know what it is. How about Thor, the dreaded Thor? Versus... Uh, who, who can I use? We'll use Hades. God of War Hades. Come on, Hades. Use your whips. 
the chains or the, the, the claws of Hades. Destroy him. Well done. Now there's actually uh, some two new units that I made. Here they are. Hades and Poseidon from the anime. I don't really watch anime anymore, but there's an anime called Record of Ragnarok. I decided to watch it. You know, humans versus gods, deathmatch. Sounds cool. I like their designs. I definitely did a horrible job at their designs because they looked really cool. You can search it up online and see whether I did a decent job or not. Uh, I know Hades has a Bident, but there's no Bident in this game, and it, but it does have this part in front of the Bident, well, behind the Bident part. So I just use the Parmax to represent it. Now let's see if they can do the job. One and ones. Come on, Hades. Destroy. Make it 2 0 for the Hades versus. So the thing about the Parmax is that uh, once you get enraged, she does the spin attack and then it becomes a tornado. Not bad. Now Poseidon. You got this. So Poseidon's a lot faster than Hades, but it doesn't do as much damage and as hard hitting. Either way, they still destroy units. Like I put Hades and Poseidon against 200 Spartans. Or 203 army, I put shields, spears, as well as the Hoptars. You're a disappointment, Poseidon. Hold on, I'll give you a round two. We'll see if it was a fluke. Or are you really that much of a sucker? Okay, so Poseidon's a sucker, basically. Um, Ares enraged. That can't be good. Uh, you know, let's put him against Hades again. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, this is a destroy him, please. This is this tornado is basically our ultimate move. We lost. Damn it. Okay, we'll try round two. I think Ares wins this though. Yeah, that, that double spear tactic is very good. Poseidon wouldn't have stood a chance. If Hades loses, that means Poseidon's screwed. The champion versus, we'll see, uh, hmm. Heimdall, the god of, the north god of foresight. Okay, interesting strategy. Oh wow, we destroyed him. Okay, well, that works. How about the Chaos Emperor versus this time a more balanced person, Noob Cybot from Mortal Kombat, the original Sub Zero Bihan. I think they just threw each other off the map. Yes, they in fact threw themselves off the map. And we still won because my guy got yeeted forwards this way and this guy died of the fall we'll see we'll go round two see if he still falls oh yeah that explosion stuff is tossing them around how is that effect this is, you're basically putting up to a 50 50 oh well chaos emperor i remember that unit what a pain i'm not gonna bother the giga zombie uh uh, screw the hell spawn, but what I would like to try out is the MZ jetpack. Okay, let's do this do, 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 do. Comment, under, comment down below if you know where that's from Because I can't confirm whether I uh, if you're right or not because I do not know myself But what I do know is that I'm about to destroy these guys with superior technology but the jetpack is so good. It is so good. You never stood a chance. You never should have been born. I can fly right over you. Your spears mean nothing to me. You garbage. Garbage. Wait, I have an ability. What's the ability? It only it's one of those ones where you have to be around the enemy to have it so it's cool down so I'm just gonna keep hovering about they're never gonna hit me they're never gonna hit me I'm too powerful oh I can do that oh I just wasted most of those good never mind it works perfectly 
You can't do anything. I'm too powerful. Enjoy. I'm so good at this game, I don't even have to shoot them directly. God, this game's fun. Now let's try out my boss units of myself. Versus some of my tanks units. Let's try. I'm not gonna bother with the. I uh, will do the Ares actually. I'm not gonna bother with Thor though. I got this. Okay, so the Ares just picks us apart with the spears. See what the champion's made out of. This unit is made with 2,000 uh, puppets and stomachs. I am now alone. I am scared. This guy's kicking me apart with she kicking my shields apart. Oh my god. Yeah, this isn't a fair fight. Oh no. I have a family. Ow. I'm not even gonna bother the Dark Emperor, he's going to destroy me. Uh what about the Hellspawn? Surely we can handle our Hellspawn. Probably not actually. Never mind, we destroyed the Hellspawn. Well, uh I was expecting a bit better, so how about we use the final boss version of me versus my tanks bosses? Starting off with Ares, we're coming back for round two. Uh, for the record, this final boss version of me was designed to face off against the OP Jester. And if you haven't seen those videos of what the OP Jester can do, go back and watch them. I literally made one video dedicated to trying to find a way to kill the OP Jester. Not even this final boss version of me was capable of doing it. For the record, those tiny me throws grenades that do like 10,000 damage. Yeah, no Ares. What about Thor? Thor, you got anything? No, your lightning's not fast enough. It's simply... I blew myself up with those super grenades. I made a severe... Yeah, even if the grenade messes up, I can still kill him before it blows up. I should make an updated version of this, because this curved sword, garbage. I will probably switch it out with the wizard sword, since that's a pretty good one. Spear, I think the spear does fine. It does its purpose. Red was victorious again. Now the Chaos Emperor. I hate this guy. All it takes is one grenade, and boom, you're done. You messed up. You made mistakes. Oh, the king. Yeah, you're about to get destroyed, king. Yeah, one of those grenades is enough to end you. Yep, there you go. Didn't even need to fully explode. And now, the main one I've been looking forward to. Dinksy thumbnail. Now in the picture you see a crossbow. In game you see a minigun. Now let's pick out some of uh, the flashy but weak units. So the ones that look like they're going to be powerful but they aren't actually powerful. That way it looks more impressive for the thumbnail. My character can still win. So I have a jetpack, obviously. Probably gonna lose that one, but worth it. And so one soul of the dead. Yeah, that Ares just isn't in, even in the picture. I'm gonna move that. And now we shall see. Out of these like pretty powerful but not boss units, can my unit do the job? My money is on possibly. Well. Like, well, we're gonna find out either way. Oh boy, I made, a I made a continuous lapse in my judgment. Yeah, that was a horrible decision. Oh boy, where am I? Uh, we'll have three of me for the sake of balance, you know. Shoot. Well, I can't afford to babysit all of them. Hey, Legionnaire, can we make like a deal? 
Like I send, I sell you a fancy suit or something. Oh, they killed each other. It's good to see. Yeah, I was about to say, no way you can fight all those bullets. Who's, oh, you're still alive. Ah, so 3ME wins that battle. And now we shall have just me, the base version, the original version. With an M1911A1. Well, it's supposed to be, but it's an M1911 in the game. Chambered in 45 ACP, nickel plated. Simple, one handed. You know, this is the first model I made. Then let's just test it out against some of the base units. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next video. It all depends if. Uh, I think it was. I can't remember who it was. I'm, I've got bad memory. I think it was Nanda Basna or somebody like that. Uh, suggested I did the Ultimate Campaign 2, but I can't find it. I also did look into the. Uh, the, uh, the invisible mods and the god, whatever it was. I looked into that. I have bad memory again. Can't remember the name. I saw the video by NPC Wars. Looks nice. You do not fear. You do not. I got bullet arrows. I got bullets. And bullets are superior. That's a fact. Okay, this is bullying. Yeah, just end it. Be nice if you hit your shots, then then we would have just ended it. Yep. Let's try against the Centurion and the Legion. We're not gonna bother with the bosses. I know I lose that one. Did that guy just deflect bullets? The Centurion just supposed to have that fast reflexes. Kidding me? Oh well, at least he's a lot more manageable when the shield is like. Ah, oh, never mind. He's gonna get. I'm gonna win eventually. You can't keep tanking bullets. Go on, do your d sprint thing. Do your sprint thing and go onto the floor. Come on, just die. Kill everyone, die already. First thing is the Aries, le Aries Legionnaires are more powerful than this guy, so. Okay, all those bullets went to that wooden shield, but it looks fit, so. Come on, spot towards me. There we go, now you're done. Okay, Aries Legionnaire. He does not have the deflect, so I can just shoot him. Come on, let's get a little closer. Let's stay out of his spear range, though. Oh, this is a pain. It's gonna be one of those, isn't it? Yep, it's just an infinite paradox of us turning. He's enraged, that means it did some pretty decent damage. Oh, and now his. Oh, I was about to say his spear's stuck, but no, it's not. Okay, so the Ares Legionnaires aren't shit. The Dread Viking, I don't even need to see how this goes. Yep, he never stood a chance. Come at me, bro. That's a good blade, though. It's like curves in front of the shield. Nice. The drama. How terrifying. Oh, okay, that's what? Are you tanking all that? Stop there. Yeah, you, you don't survive round two. Come on, Berserker. Can't take that many bullets. Oh, oh, but you can shoot break my ankles like that. Oh 
my god, and now he's gonna be cornered. Okay, that was my entire clip. Not great. This guy's fast. It makes sense, I mean, he's bigger. Ooh, not today. Okay, that's how you know we're doing some decent damage when you start getting too enraged. Those also mean they have the chance to easily one-shot me, but let's not think about that. I knew it! Oh, I didn't dodge it right, though. There we go. Pistol does it all, eventually. Granted, you may run out of ammo at some point, but don't worry about it. At least his shield's broken now. Let's just back up a bit. This guy is pretty tanky. Okay. That shield's gonna block most of the hits. I can already see that. You knew it. Thankfully, it also kind of messes up his mace swings, but. Doesn't really matter when you can just dodge it. Footman. How long is this video? It's gone on for 26 minutes of me just doing this. Goofing about. <laughs> yeah, I deserve to die there. I'm not counting that as a proper loss, though. I, I, let, I put my hands off the keyboard for that one. Ow, okay, so that was... These guys are actually pretty dangerous. They weren't as dangerous when I used them, I remember that much, but... Also, I just noticed the Odin, the dreaded Odin. I feel like this is just going to go the same way as I did with the Odin. Okay, closer. Did you just... Okay, so these guys got better range. I'm going to run up on you and kill you. Okay, now it's the tomb guards. I remember using hundreds of these guys to fight the emperor. Oh, I tried to press the space bar to jump back and then it just turned off. These guys are pretty crazy with their spin attack. I don't remember them having that. Ow. I, oh, okay, so this guy might actually be a bit of a challenge right now. I'm not afraid. I will win this. Most of my bullets went to his shield. I'm not gonna risk that. Getting behind him is very dangerous because he can just do. Yep, just like that. Jesus, that's a good move. Not good enough. You think yo, you can just deflect all my bullets? No, you can only deflect one. So I'm just gonna walk up and shoot you. Oh. What? Why did the rest of my bullets go to his side? Doesn't matter, I'll still kill him. You should walk up, formally introduce myself, and then shoot him. Just like that. Now this crossbow is a lot more dangerous because it's the, the Chun one. Which is, yup, it does that. Yeah, it does that. I can do that, I can do that though. Yeah, now you gotta spend 10 years reloading. You messed up now, huh? Stop. I was about to sh let you shoot again. Now this one's probably going to be a battle for the ages. These guys are tough. Well, relatively tough. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but... You know, this is probably just an act. Never mind, they're, they ain't anything. They're just garbage. The Ronin is where it's going to be the issue. Yeah, the ninja was never going to be a threat. Their range is too short for this. 
Okay, then, never mind. That's what I'm losing that one. Let's do this. Geet. Spigeet. Damn it, he was supposed to have his shield at his side. I'm gonna do this is a risky play doing this, but the shield and the gun, desperate times calls for desperate desperate measures. Desperate measures. Yeah, that was why I didn't do it. Okay. So this is gonna be one of those. Yep, you just gotta get that lucky gut shot at the beginning. Shoot him to the floor. <laughs> Darn it. So that's three out of seven shots, so. Doesn't matter, just headshot. Would have been a good thumbnail if it was for the bullet glitch there. Has to be perfect, you know. Now, this guy might win, you know, he's got really good range. Never mind. He's trying to shoot me. Not today. Not on my watch. Templar Knight, we shall see what I is made out of. Ah, yeah, I'm not winning that one. What about the Paladin? He doesn't have a shield, so I might be able to take him on. The other one had a really big shield, so I can't really do much about that. Yeah, I think I'm winning this one. How terrifying. Okay, he's moving faster now. That's uh, that's actually gonna. Never mind. He just gets one shotted. Damn. Well, that's a little underwhelming, to be honest. How about ten of them? Versus uh, with ten shanks. Well, thirteen because unlucky number. Also because these guys suck our blood and uh, uh, they're just going to one shot all of us at the same time, so. <laughs> yep, that's kind of what I was concerned about. <laughs> Cloning! <laughs> yeah, I'm jumping out of that. Hey, we, yep, we won that one. Drugged up a victory. Six. Your shots. Yeah, we need you to reload quickly. Yeah, thanks. There we go, double shot. Dixie Ally won. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I killed myself with the explosion. Easy. Oh yeah, the second one's the one with me using shurikens and not being on crack cocaine. <laughs> what about just one pistol? Surely I can take all of them on with not enough bullets. They survived. You're not supposed to do that. That's cheating. Don't you know you're supposed to get one-shotted? Okay, okay, I see how it is, I see how it is. You wanna play games, huh? <laughs> why, why do I look like that? Why does my neck look like a draw? Yeah, I ain't afraid of zombies. Built different. Well, I'm not quite sure what's left to, what's left to do. Other than use a jetpack and try fighting all the zombies. Just a bunch of zombies versus one jetpack. You all know that the one jetpack could have solved World War Two. Wait, I put two. I was supposed to have one. Darn it. 
I just deleted both of them. Well, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. It greatly helps the channel. Comment down below if you want to see me do anything on the channel. Whether that be a campaign. But please put the title so I can really find it. Uh, depending on... Uh, whether I get the comments stuff for uh, the tags for the other campaign, the other campaign two, then the vi there might be a video out for it today. If not, probably on Wednesday. Speaking of Wednesday, Wednesday will mark the anniversary of the channel, the 26th of April. So for that, I will be doing a live stream, probably on Twitch or on YouTube if I can find out how. I'm not very good at doing that, and we shall see what will happen. But I plan on using all the custom units I've gotten to destroy one of them. I think it was the Breadstick Adventure campaign. Enjoy. There we go. Again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day.